Hey guys, welcome to the channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a subscriber. My name is Neil and it is time for the final episode of season one of Squid Game. I'm excited. I've really enjoyed this series so far, guys. I binged it, to be fair. I've seen the entire series in a little over a week, which is slow for me historically, but since I've started the channel, incredibly fast. I'm, I'm really excited to see how things conclude. Obviously, we are down to just two contestants. Gi-hoon, our hero, and Sang-woo, his uh, childhood friend, who has turned into the villain of this show um, just because he's so cutthroat. He's not evil per se, but it's become clear as the series has progressed that his success is more important than anything else. He has no problem killing now. He has no problem throwing uh, his friends to the wolves. He's killed past teammates knowingly he's tricked people to their to their detriment and um he it's clear that he is only in this for number one and and well gihun our hero certainly isn't perfect by any means he's lazy he's a gambler he's also not a criminal he, he's fallen on hard times he's in danger of losing his daughter um, his mother needs help. We can get behind him, even though he's by no means perfect. He's certainly got his flaws, but that just makes him more human and perhaps even more relatable. And we have one other main character who we really want to know a whole lot more about, but we just don't know, and that's the front man, who turns out um, was the, the missing brother of our detective. Um, and to preserve that secret, he killed his brother. He killed the detective to preserve the secret of who he was. It appears that he was a prior winner five years ago, and now he runs the game. He isn't the one ultimately in charge. It seems he uh, reports to some anonymous figure and caters to the VIPs who maybe fund the game. Um, but... I'm very curious to see what happens to the front man as well. Otherwise, we've lost everybody else. All the other characters that we've been introduced to over the prior episodes that we formed attachments to have lost in the game and are therefore now dead. You know, 67, she was injured at the end of the last, uh, at, at the end of the last game and in her weakened state, Sang Woo killed her. Sang Woo tricked Ali in the marble game. And to be fair, Gi Hoon tricked uh, number one, our old man, as well. But but the old man caught caught cottoned on and willingly sacrificed himself to Gi Hoon at the end by giving him his last marble. We lost 240. We lost our thug 101 and his weird wannabe girlfriend 212 when 212 got her revenge for 101 going back on their pact in the tug of war so yeah we're, we're down to two men who've known each other for ages one represents the the poor underclass and one represents the the rich criminal overclass um, but they're both hard up for money they both want to win and more importantly i think at this point they both want to survive but I don't see them cooperating. I see gi -hoon wanting revenge on Sang-woo for the death of 67. So it'll be very interesting to see how all this plays out. Now, we can guess as to what the final game is. I'm going to say it's a version of the original Squid Game that was described to us in the, the very first minutes of the series. Otherwise, why is the show called Squid Game? Why is this big con game construction called Squid Game? It makes sense that it culminates in a game of Squid Game. So I'm curious to see what the spin on that may be, because I do remember that early version uh, that when we were first introduced to it, was a game for like, I think six kids or something. How do we play it with just two? But yeah, I'm, I'm very curious to jump into this. So 
let's get let's do that let's get right into it this is episode nine of season one of squid game there it is that's the same game field that we saw isn't it 218 456 <sighs> wordless that's all you need to know one game two men one lucky day so he starts on the outside right man the betrayal in his eyes man no preamble at all we're right into it squid game so you could just kill each other. We are right into it. This is crazy. Does he have to start hopping on one foot? If I remember correctly. He's ready to play dirty, isn't he? Well, they still have their knives. Secret agent? Secret inspector. <laughs> Starting to rain. You justify it however you want. What? Is that a bad thing? Oh, he didn't want them to vote. Yeah, get rid of the knives. Wow, this is this isn't fun fighting. This isn't skilled fighting. It's just brutal. Wow, this is yeah, not pretty in the least. Oh! Twice. Oh man. Through his hand? Wow. It's still deep in his hand. That's brutal. Just go win. Wow. Did he do it? No, he couldn't have. He couldn't have. Keep your eyes on him, buddy. You left the knife with him. If you take that step, you kill him. <laughs> Bring him back the vote. Oh, fucking way. I don't think we need the exposition animals. No, he doesn't want to go home. He was ready to kill himself. Wow. Okay, he redeemed himself at the very end, but... So he wins. I didn't think that would be the first 10 minutes of the episode. What comes after this? Now what? Now what? <laughs> There's a lot of overt Christianity in this show, and and rarely in a super positive light. Jesus, 
<laughs> what about his money? How does he get his money? Oh. Is it all on that? Four, five, six. What's our balance? Let's assume it. They at least did him good there, and they haven't screwed him on his winnings. Yeah. Oh, that's Sang Wu's mom's place, isn't it? Kyuna, do kuri wegure. Can't even look at her. Kudumo ya, kaso omma ran kachi mogo. Nino ma odi apunji. Oh no. Chona da han baku. Kyuna. Have you seen Sang Wu? Oh, man. man, the pain on his face, in his eyes, he's just completely broken. And in a weird way, like, he hardly killed anybody in that entire game. Yeah, granted, he was, you know, the tug of war and sort of the old man, but his mom alive is it all for nothing i'm nervous i'm really nervous not in time not in time can he at least keep his daughter <laughs> all for nothing i don't think he's going to be able to keep his daughter either Man, this is depressing. I hope there's like... One year later, just like that. What about his daughter? Are we not going to find out about his daughter? <laughs> he doesn't want it? He just put it in there and he's not... What's that? The card? Oh, it's the ribbon on the black. It's an invite to, to work. Yeah, but it's on gold. From your Gyanbu. That's the old man. From your best friend. Are there more Gyanbu? I'm probably totally mispronouncing that, but... <laughs> no other floor buttons. December 24th, 7th floor, 7, 12, 24. These are all like... Important numbers. Is it the old man? It's the old frickin' man. How? How? Is he the one that started the game? Twenty-five minutes to save a man. Go help him. You gonna steal from him or are you gonna help him? Simon. Jaiba. Hmm. Man, this is bleak, but powerful. Really powerful. So literally just to beat the boredom of being rich. It's messed up. Just for fun. Anyone going to help the man in the street? Is he even alive anymore? Has he died? Oh, 
자네를 왜 살려줬냐고 재미있었거든 그렇게 재미있었던 거 This guy is dead, right? 정말 And are these his dying words? 오랜만이야 Upside down, his face almost looks like a squid. They came back with help. Someone helped. People are good. But he's dead. Wow. I need to reevaluate all my perspectives from this show. 어떻게 해 드릴까? 이 just picked one. 물론 알아요. I did. 얘가 개야? 네. 아이고, 추운데 옷이 이게 뭐야? <웃음> 더 따뜻한 거 없어? Is it full of money? I'm going to assume it's full of money. Yeah. <웃음> What does it say? Don't run away from it. <laughs> don't run away from it. Yuna! I don't think that's all of it, though, is it? Where is he off to? Who's he talking to? Oh, he's going to go see his daughter, of course. He's off to America. Is somebody playing... The game. Yeah. <laughs> Same guy. He'll be gone. Touch one way. Could then I same number as before. Oh, don't don't you dare, dude. Don't you dare skip out on your daughter. What was the choice about making his hair go red? It's such an odd just thing. I feel like there's got to be greater meaning, but maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it's just uh, a fresh start. He's... Ugh. He's going back. Born on Halloween. Uh, and, and yet again, this show goes in a direction I wasn't expecting it to go in. I I expected the bulk of this episode being the the lead up to and the the final game, not having all of that done in the first ten minutes of the episode, and then dealing with all the aftermath. But what a really interesting episode! He 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 couldn't. Take the, he couldn't take the money. He couldn't use it. The, 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 you know, whether it's guilt or or something else, playing the game destroyed Gihon. And I think more than that, he saw what it did to everybody else. Specifically, Sang Wu, someone who he grew up with and admired, and and, and he saw what Sang Wu turned into because of the game. And he didn't blame. Saying woo, he didn't blame his childhood friend, he blamed the game, which maybe is maybe is the right answer. I'm not sure. You tell me what you think, but but I you know, like I would have blamed saying woo for you know, like but but you know it's the question of, you know, are we what are we all capable of and, and what do our circumstances um draw out of us? Nevertheless, he blamed the game. And and he hasn't let go. That reveal that the old man, number one, the guy that we thought was like 
the the hero of the game you know he he saved our team during the tug of war you know he 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 always had such a positive attitude he was such a trooper he he sacrificed himself to save Kihun in the marbles now we see him in an entirely different light uh, of course he was number one of course he was the you know in in the dorm from the very beginning seeing everybody else arrive he wanted to see all of that of course he was the first one to start moving in red light green light because he he was the one that knew the game in advance like and even if he didn't know the game like he he he'd been a witness to it for years so he 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 was ready for it he was ready for it and he turns out to be just another evil banker that you know, just just another golden masked VIP exposition animal, and uh, that that's a heartbreak. I, I I don't like seeing characters fall that fast that quickly. But man, I guess he was the only character that we didn't actually see die. I think we heard the gunshot when Gihun walked out of the house because they went into the house when it happened, and he survived because. He's the game. Of course, it's not going to kill. He's not going to be killed in it, but he still gets to have the fun of playing. And 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 he and Gihun, I think I feel like they actually had a bond. They 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 became friends in the game. The the game forged a friendship. Um, but Gihun sees it as a betrayal, uh, and 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 rightfully so. Um, I I've I've heard that season two is announced. I, I wasn't sure how, no, when I entered this series watching that, I wasn't sure what a season two could entail. But now it's quite clear to me that season two is going to be, be about Gi Hoon trying to end the game. And is, is, is it going to be kind of like um, the detective's journey this, this, this season where Gi Hoon tries to infiltrate? I think that's going to be a major challenge, but who knows? I mean, is it going to be in the same locale? Is it going to be somewhere else? Obviously, there's going to be new competitors. Hopefully, we get to know some of them. But but honestly, this finale, I mean, you know, it, it's a dark show from the beginning. But, but you hold out hope for a show like this, that there is some happy ending. You know, that at least, you know, I, I, I envision, you know, Gihun coming home, using that money to help his mother, um, keep his daughter in Korea, help Sang Woo's mother save uh, um, 67's younger brother, you know, like put it to good for all the people that lost their lives along the way and, uh, you know, change multiple lives and said he did nothing. I'm not sure I agree with that. I'm not, I'm not sure I agree with that. But it's an interesting character choice, and uh, I can I can appreciate that. I can I can certainly appreciate that. So man, just really a, a really kind of dark dark conclusion to this show. There, there's no happy answers yet, and and maybe you know that's also the point is the system can't be beat. It's certainly an indictment of modern economics of capitalism which you may or may not agree with but i mean it's certainly the the creator's point that you know it's as our old man said on on his literal deathbed whether you don't have enough money or you have too much money life is no fun that, that seems like a really s sad game to play if if there's only this sort of sweet little zone in the middle where where life has the possibility of being fun and it's all predicated on money so yeah wow i was hoping for a more uplifting finale but maybe this is a realer finale a more honest finale and a better crafted finale um, and, and I can really appreciate that. I'm, I'm a little bit uh, gobsmacked and uh, at a loss for words, relatively speaking. Neil Talks is really at a loss for words. But yeah, there we go, guys. Um, I really enjoyed this journey. Thank you so much for joining me on it. 
I'm looking forward to series to season two. I'm sure it's a year or so away, but I'll be looking forward to jumping back into Squid Game when it returns. And in the meantime, I wouldn't be surprised if I see a few other Korean projects. Um, by now, uh, my reaction to uh, Train to Busan should have been up. And there may be another Korean movie or two in the works down the road. If there's anything else Korean that you feel like I ought to check out, or other foreign language Asian stuff, you know, like... Uh, let me know. I'm, I'm up for almost anything on this channel, and uh, I'd love to hear your suggestions. So until next time, everybody, take care, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.